Come, Holy Ghost, our souls inspire and lighten with celestial fire. Thou the anointing spirit art, who dost thy sevenfold gift impart. Thy blessed unction from above is comfort, life, and fire of love. Enable with perpetual light the dullness of a blinded sight. Come, Creator Spirit. Good morning. Well, that hymn, that poem, is traditionally sung at ordinations this weekend, Peter Tide, the end of June, beginning of July, and like so many other things, that's suspended for now. But there's a, there's a gap, there's a pause where there was to be something, and we shall have to wait in an extended patience for that which uh, is to come. And so I'll be thinking over the next few days, as I have this week, of all those preparing to undertake their, uh, their ministry in the, in the church. And it begins with that, that prayer to see things afresh by the power of the Spirit. What a great prayer to pray. Poets and artists have, have longed for that over the centuries, longed to recapture Wordsworth, Traherne, they all wanted to, to recapture that childlike sense of, of seeing uh, the world as a picture, in picture terms. You know when Jesus uh, heals in one of his healings of, of, of blind people, they, that when, when his eyes are opened, he compares those walking around uh, to trees. Uh, and he's, it's it, immediately he's 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 a poet. As soon as he can see, he's able to to compare and and and, and imagine the world like that. And of course, whenever Jesus heals people's physical sight in Scripture, it's an analogy for our our inner sight too. It's about about seeing properly, uh, sensing, discerning in every way, not just with our eyes. And uh, we long for that. Christ also said if we want to enter the kingdom of, of heaven, we have to do so as a little child. And I think that's part of what he means, that we have to see the world in, uh, in, its, in its, all its dimensions as, as a gift from God. And, and not be tired and weary of it and, and the dullness of our sight. There's a lovely poem Edwin Muir writes about the transfiguration. I don't think we've talked about it <laughs> at number 98 of these films. It's quite hard to keep track of what, what poems we've actually looked at together. But he talks about um, the source of all our seeing rinsed and clean. Isn't that lovely? The source of all our seeing rinsed and clean. Our hands made fit to handle holy things. And he's writing after the disciples had that transfiguration vision on the mountaintop with Jesus. As I was walking over here a few minutes ago, I, I walked past the, the field which has been mown and it was hay and we've, I've photographed it previously and then was mown a, a week or so ago and has been baled today. And it really struck me uh, that if that had been a sculpture park or designated as such all of these randomly placed blocks in the field would be a, a, a compelling artistic vision we'd flock to it. it it looked for all the world like an Anthony Gormley uh, arrangement of sculpture but it was just bales in a field that will will be gone tomorrow and so I pray today that you will and I will be able to have the source of our seeing rinsed and clean and not just the way we view things but the way, way we view people that we view ourselves and, and the world around us would be 
given its proper dimension, depth, proportion and colour. God bless you as you go to ground.